In this video, I am going to start the Hayes bridge. Hayes bridge is also used to measure the unknown inductance like your Maxwell's bridge. Okay, it is also used to measure the unknown unknown inductance. Okay, what is the drawback of the what are the what are the not you cannot say drawback what are the limitations of the Maxwell's bridge like Maxwell's bridge can able to measure the quality factor which is less than 10 but here the quality factor of the Hayes bridge is greater than 10 quality factor of this Hayes bridge is greater than 10 okay and it can measure the inductance value from 1 micro Henry to 1 micro Henry to 100 Henry's with plus or minus 2 percent error. Okay, it is also it is also Hayes bridge is also used to measure the unknown inductance value. But in the previous case, Maxwell's bridge is also used to measure the unknown inductance. Then what is the difference between this bridge and that bridge? Here, this Hayes bridge is used to measure the unknown inductance within the range of one micro Henry to 100 Henry whereas in the previous Maxwell's bridge was able to measure 1 Henry to 1000 Henry okay and the error is also common plus or minus 2 percent but the quality factor for, for the previous case it was less than 10 now it is greater than 10 okay so now see the bridge in the previous case uh, why I am saying previous case previous case always always it should be comparable with the previous and uh, known bridges then only we can understand what is the difference see in the first term it is having in the first term it is having series capacitance and resistance but second term third term fourth term all these three are common with respect to Maxwell's bridge in the first term there in the Maxwell's bridge we have parallel connection of R1C1 but in the Hayes bridge we have series connection of R1C1 that is only the difference okay I said there when a parallel connection is there you should definitely consider an admittance instead of impedance that is better way not definitely consider that is the best way to calculate and uh, to do some manipulations and getting the result very easily okay now here so what is Z1 Z1 is nothing but series connection R1 plus 1 by j omega c1 and similarly z2 is equal to what is z2 simply r2 what is z3 simply r3 and z4 equal to series connection of resistance and inductance so rx plus j omega lx rx plus j omega lx okay so when bridge is in balanced condition always we should go for bridge is in balanced condition bridge balanced when z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 okay so substitute what is z1 z4 z2 z3 and you will get an equation so what is z1 r1 plus 1 by j omega c1 into what is Z4? Rx plus J omega LX is equal to R2 R3. On right hand side we don't have any problem simply real part is there but on left hand side we have a multiplication which is somewhat complex we need to do that. Okay so I am multiplying one by one see R1 Rx that implies R1 Rx plus j omega lx r1 plus rx by rx by j omega c1 plus j omega j omega gets cancelled here lx by lx by c1 that is equal to r2 r3 okay now equate real and imaginary parts equate real and imaginary parts so what are the real and imaginary parts here which are not having j term this one and this one on right hand side r2 r3 so real terms are nothing but r1 rx plus lx by c1 is equal to r2 r3 so coming to the imaginary parts 
imaginary parts what are the imaginary parts we have j omega lx r1 plus rx by j omega c1 that is equal to 0 because there is no imaginary term on the right hand side okay so if you take simplify this one you take this as equation 1 j omega lx r1 is equal to minus rx by j omega c1 if if j is, j is going to the numerator then it becomes plus, minus j so minus minus becomes plus so j r x by omega c1 here it is j omega l x r1 so j j cancel and what we have l x is equal to l x is equal to r x by omega square r1 c1 okay take this as equation 2 okay now both the equations 1 and 2 are in terms of rx and lx now substitute 2 in 1 okay substitute 2 in 1 then you will get one parameter like rx okay so substitute 2 in 1 so when you substitute 2 in 1 what happens see what we have r1 rx r1 rx plus lx by c1 what is lx otherwise you do like this that is the best way uh, okay uh, substitute 2 in 1 like this uh, rx is equal to rx is equal to not like this so you go for, uh, so rx is equal to from from here bring equation for rx okay rx equal to lx into omega square r1 c1 rx is equal to lx omega square c1 r1 now take this as equation 2 okay and substitute in equation 1 okay what is equation 1 what is equation 1 r1 rx plus lx by c1 r2 r3 now substitute lx in uh, what is rx in this one so r1 into r1 into so what is rx lx omega square c1 r1 plus lx by c1 is equal to what we have r2 r3 okay now multiply and take lx common because lx is the only unknown parameter on the left hand side so if you take lx as common and multiply this r1 inside omega square r1 square c1 plus 1 by c1 okay that is equal to r2 r3 so take c1 as lcm so lx into 1 plus omega square r1 square c1 square and this c1 goes on to the right hand side r2 r3 c1 so what is the value of lx lx is equal to r2 r3 c1 by 1 plus omega square r1 square c1 square this is the value of lx this is the value of lx okay now substitute this lx in the equation 2 so substitute lx in 2 substitute equation uh, lx into what happens rx is equal to rx is equal to lx in 2 so lx means r2 r3 c1 divided by 1 plus omega square r1 square c1 square into omega square c1 r1 
okay so multiply this we will get omega square c1 square r1 r2 r3 divided by 1 plus omega square r1 square c1 square okay this is the value of rx okay these two formulas you should definitely remember when you are going to calculate the unknown parameters in the case of race bridge these are somewhat uh, uh, lengthy but you have to remember because problems are very much uh, needed when you are going to solve this uh, highest bridge and unknown finding the values of unknown lx and rx definitely you should remember this formula okay if you forget you have to do the same process z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 now quality factor quality factor i told you what is the quality factor which is greater than 10 in the case of Hayes bridge it should be greater than 10 so quality factor formula is equal to what is the quality factor formula for the capacitance in the case of in uh, inductance already we have calculated okay what is that omega lx by rx here also omega lx by rx so that is equal to omega lx omega into what is lx what is rx if you see lx and rx both are having the same denominator part okay so if you substitute lx by rx denominators gets cancelled okay so omega into lx is nothing but r2 r3 c1 divided by what is rx omega square c1 square r1 r2 r3 this one so omega omega square cancel and c1 square cancel r2 r3 and r2 r3 cancelled so what we are left 1 by nothing is there in the numerator 1 by omega is there 1 c1 is there 1 r1 is there therefore the quality factor q is equal to 1 by omega r1 c1 this is the quality factor for Hayes bridge okay very very easy if you know the formula z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 that is only the thing we need okay so this is the bridge you have to remember in the maxwell's bridge capacitance and resistance both are in parallel but whereas in the Hayes bridge capacitance resistance are in series in the first arm rest of everything in all the arms are common okay so this is the Hayes bridge